KDKA. It's where the left and right unite. It's sort of like the hokey pokey. Well, maybe not that. That's a bad example. Anyway, you're live from the center with Stoney Richards on KDKA. Yes, you are, and glad you're here. We got lots of stuff left to go for you this Saturday afternoon. Our numbers here, as always, 866 391 1020, 866 391 1020, and the Dollar Bank Instant Access, where you can just kind of get in on the conversation without having to call, and then you're in like Francis, who wrote in. And I, I got to say, uh, our general manager, Michael Young, has been very happy about this, Francis. She said, kudos to Mr. Young's editorial about the stadium trash at the Luke Bryan show. I'm adding those words. I say, I say, Young for mayor. The only- <laughs> Michael, you got one vote. Uh, the only one with common sense. Yes, indeed. If we have other G20 meetings here, if we have other large groups of people and, and get the, the reputation as a city that can't handle large people that don't do things our way, those people will stop coming here. And when those people stop coming here, money will stop being spent in Pittsburgh. And it's not that we're sitting here saying, give us your money. But that's how you become a big city, and you do it with class. Yes, you have to have rules. You don't say you can run roughshod over whatever we're doing. What you do, oh, <laughs> Michael Young now has two votes. Thank you, William. William Scholl just said, Mr. Young's got my vote, too. So that's two, Michael. Very good. Lefties and righties unite. It's Live from the Center with Stoney Richards on KDKA. We are on this beautiful night in Pittsburgh, a first full week of summer. Thank goodness. Couldn't wait for it to happen. Our number's here, 866-391-1020, 866-391-1020. Feel free to pick up the phone or sit back and listen. And, of course, the Dollar Bank Instant Access at KDKA.com. It is Instant Access at KDKA.com. Yet to come up on the uh, program, uh, Mickey Raphael, the harmonica player for Willie Nelson, who, who just makes that imprint on his songs coming up in the 7 o'clock hour. But in this segment of the show, a gentleman who has been called, and I called you a gentleman, uh, has been called uh, and, and calls himself radio's best friend. He's been that for some 40 years, and uh, nice to have you back with us. Art Bolo is here. How are you, Art? You're, you're making it sound like, you know, I'm a self-proclaimed god here. I'm not. That's You remember, I, I got that handle given to me well i said has been has called and and been called and calls been, himself yeah well I, when you say calls himself that makes it sound very good but you have i've you've i've been in the phone i've been in, in a no. room and you call yourself and say oh it's <laughs> no. from me no i've got to take this stony oh stony paging in i the told airport. you who gave me do you remember who gave me the uh, i have no idea nickname who did give you it the was nickname? scott shannon was it really yes he's a big disc jockey in new york and was it was it not uh the, i think the last time you were on the show when we spoke uh, he walked away from what was he PLJ? Was that the yes, station? Yeah. And yes. Well, what's it? And the station he, doing... he walked away from is owned by a company that a lot of people feel <laughs> is not amongst the best in the industry. We will not name them, but they all start with the letter C these days. Okay. <laughs> and and uh, it's not CBS. No, it's not C- CBS right now. Who owns this radio station is considered to be. The best and the friendliest of the big conglomerates. In our hearts, we yes. are broadcasters. Yes. yes. But That's I right. remember when you were well, I mean, the li- president of this company used to be a DJ. Yes, and a I darn mean, good one. A darn good one, Dan Mason. And I, re- and, I, and I have charts at home with him from Z93 in Atlanta when he was a rock and roll DJ. And then he was a program director, and he came up on that side of the business. See, this is this is the crazy person that I have in this studio. <laughs> Will you stop at the crazy person? You have <laughs> some nerve. <laughs> well, you have loved radio for. As long as I've known you, yes, and probably so before then. I met you at W A Y N, Wayne State at University. Wayne State University, yeah. the same university that graduated Casey Kasem, oh my God. who just a week ago uh, was it a week ago? It was yeah, Father's it was, Day. Was, we, that, yeah, was that last yeah, Sunday? Yeah. Anyway, passed Two away ago, yeah. after a very publicized fight with the family and the kids and his wife and all this, and it was a real shame. And I, and I I'm here to tell you, I got a phone call. Last uh, Friday, uh, that would have been a week ago yesterday, yeah. uh, I was in New York to videotape a talk radio seminar. Okay. And uh, she called me on my cell phone, all excited. She just got a package in the mail of three uh, discs I sent her of the radio television coverage her dad got because he was from Detroit. And that's where I am, is in Detroit. Right. That's where you originally are from. Yes. And, and so it had a lot of local 
the interest local tie-in, and she couldn't get over that somebody actually would send her all this wonderful material. And I thought, how great is that? I mean, she's all over TV. She's calling me to thank me for sending this stuff to her. You know, yeah. it's, it's odd that you, you bring up Casey Kasem, timely that you bring up mm -hmm. Casey Kasem, but odd. Um, I was talking with, with Bill the other day here on, on KDKA, and I, I, in all my years, I have never, had never met. You'd never met him? Casey, no. You never did? Never did. Well, see, if you would have come to some of those earlier Detroit was, radio you, reunions. You, you know, I have personal problems. Well, I, I know can. that, but we, we overlook those. <laughs> but anyway, no, he, the one you did make was the one that he didn't make that well because he knew i was coming he and that was the i don't want it. to see that guy from i Pittsburgh. told him yeah you're <laughs> but, finished, uh, you know and, but 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 it's funny also earlier you were talking about in your first segment about the country i i get so irritated when i hear people say country and western country and western there yeah. is no western yeah. every time somebody says country and western i goes no it's country it's the western <laughs> is gone <laughs> right. it is simply gone people i mean it is it's really... always a dead giveaway when somebody says oh you play country and western that's yeah. like okay you don't know country that's music. Right. That's okay, exactly I got right. that. But getting back to Casey yeah. Kasem, yeah, if, sure. if we could, because that, that's interesting, because we're going to talk w w with Art about his love of radio and how radio has changed over the years and oh, continues to change. Has it ever. But how about, I mean, Casey was one of those guys that, you, you know, we've all listened to our, our fair share of top 40 screaming disc jockeys who were, who were stars. Who hey, were stars. I was on all three TV stations in Detroit, two, four, and seven, okay? And on each and by the way, I changed my shirt on each one so, so I would look the same. Oh. <laughs> all these TV trucks are pulling in and out of my driveway. My neighbors are saying, what did Arco Berserk? Did he shoot somebody? What yeah, happened? Yeah. Yeah. But, but honestly, I said, anytime you hear a countdown show of any kind, right. It was influenced he was the guy. by, he's the guy that started it. He's the one that did it and did it on a national basis. And, and he, was the, he was the main guy behind it. And I said, uh, I think it was on Fox 2 in Detroit, I said, you know, we're, we're never going to have somebody like that again. And, oh, we, no. and just like we're never going to have another Paul Harvey. Well, and the thing or about Rush Limbaugh and or thing, any of those people. Well, you know, well, Rush, well okay. you know what I'm saying. But what I'm saying. <laughs> Don't these, put Paul Harvey I in know, the I same Rush Limbaugh, and I know. But th what I'm saying is they are unique personalities. And no, we, I agree. We have to I love them while we have them. And when they're gone, they're gone. You see, we're live from the center, so I can agree with you. <laughs> but Casey had that ability to to communicate without ever raising his voice. I mean, mm -hmm. you know, that voice is just gold. Yeah. And he never and it never sounded like he was putting it on. And yet he was putting on a show. And if you remember that one time that he was having a bad day yeah. and they were recording the show and somebody snuck the tape out of the studio oh, and it went classic. it went what would be considered today viral. viral. <laughs> right. But this was before we knew what the word viral was. Right. But everybody wanted to hear it because he is such a nice man that we couldn't believe that he actually was human yeah. and had a bad day. And he was getting upset and mad and started to swear at some of the, you know, the uh, engineers and what have you in the studio. And it was like, oh, my God. It's just they're still trying to find dirt on Tim Tebow. Sure. I mean, you know, they, you know only, whatever people seem to be so nice and so good, they, there's got to be something he did. Come is, on. Is Tim going to be doing American I, Country Country? Like, oh, my God. I, I well, know. you know, and, and the other thing, when you the were here. The media can be vicious. And you know that. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, yeah, we saw uh, uh, evidence of that last week with this Luke Bryan show. It was like, like, there we go. Stop. Tie it right in. And I remember when you were here last and we heard about the Scott Shannon story. Mm -hmm. And, and what I'm getting at with this is you love radio so much. This guy cares so much about this medium that you were heartbroken because you were like, did they force him out? What happened with that? Why is he doing this? And I, I thought that was very telling about you because it wasn't, ah, well, he's well, out of a gig. He'll move on. But he, you care about the yeah, guy. Yeah, he, and he did move on. Yeah. And, he, and he's now at the oldie station, yeah. WCBS Hello. FM. So it's a sister station to this one. Yeah. And they're the big oldie station, just like you have a big oldie station. You know, there's a lot of them around. Yeah. Anyway, so uh, I really think that he's going to be, and he's doing what will probably be his last hurrah. I mean, none of us are getting any younger. I mean, the fact that at his age and at my age, we can some of it can still work is fantastic. Right. But but because this this business is also, as you know, very discriminatory about age. You have to be young. Everyone and if you're on TV, that, you have to be pretty. And I know, the, yeah, I know. And I but, okay. <laughs> but, I'm glad, but I'm glad he's got. But but honest to God, I knew I knew the company that bought his station. I knew he couldn't work for those people. I said it is simply a matter of time. Well, and you know the millennial. If since I brought the millennials up, I mean, look at Diane Sawyer and and George Stephanopoulos in television. 
I don't think that they stepped down just because mm-hmm. they wanted to do special projects. Mm-hmm. I think you, you start to look at the writing on the wall going, oh, my God, I am not doing social media yeah. while I'm covering. I'm a journalist, you know, and those people were brought up that way. And I, and I want to say, for the sake of, I have many friends at the company we were talking about, okay? Right. Many friends. And I'm not saying they they're an evil them, company. They're, they don't like no, you. No, no. They no. love, no. We have a wonderful relationship. The, the CEO, Art is actually voice tracked out of Baltimore no. now. No, I'm kidding. I'm <laughs> the kidding. CEO of that company, in fact, I met when he was eight years old and running around his daddy's radio yeah. station in Toledo, Ohio. That's how far back we go. So, uh, you know, they're great people. It's just that some people feel these big companies, whether it be that one or any of the other big ones, that they're, they are too concentrating on making money rather than huh. developing talent. And that is, money. And that, a lot of that is true, unfortunately. It's an interesting concept, money, uh, Mr. Yes. Volo. Art Volo is with us. We're going to take a break. We'll go going to the make news. some money? Come back. We're going to make some <laughs> money, baby, <laughs> okay. for CBS. It's News Radio 1020 <laughs> KDKA. We'll be back with your calls, 866-391-1020, and uh, your comments. We'll continue with Art Volo here. It's Tony Richards live from the center on News Brother Radio 1020. <laughs> This is the voice of Pittsburgh. Oh, my gosh. He didn't say you gotta regatta? How did he get through that whole thing without saying you gotta regatta? It's Tony Richards. We're live from the center. It is News Radio 1020 KDKA. Our number's here, 866-391-1020. And, of course, the Dollar Bank Instant Access at KDKA.com. It's Instant Access at KDKA.com. Just chime in with whatever you're thinking. Unedited much like the way I do this show. Art Volo is here with us, the man who loves radio, radio's best friend. What? You what? make it sound like I'm the only one that loves radio. You are. You No. <laughs> Don't I mean, you love it? You're th- I, You've been in it for 100 years. I, you know, you? Yeah. I, you know, and, and it's it's still one of the most popular. 92% of people still live, listen to radio. It's like, a, well, you know, radio's dying. No, it's not. It's, inc- it's incredible. Bill is with us in Mount Lebanon. Bill. Has a has a question for Art Volo. Bill, welcome to KDKA. How are you, bud? Good. How are you doing tonight? We're good. What's up? Well, I met Art today at the service plaza. <laughs> and you he did told me call, to call in, and I wanted to make sure I did that. You know, B- B- Bill was just walking out of the service plaza, and I said, I'm going to be on the radio tonight. And I gave him my card. <laughs> Yes, and yes. he said he would call in, and I said he won't call in. Well, I lost that bet. Good thing I said, well, I'll be darned. You know, I asked, you know what I asked, Bill? I said, is it really true that Pittsburgh is the only city where the baseball team, the football team, and the hockey team all so. have the same colors? I think so. I don't think yes. that's true anywhere else. You know, I was thinking about that after I had talked to you, and uh, I can't think of any other city that has the same colors for yeah. no you know there, there are other teams that have red white and blue you know variations mm-hmm. of that but nobody and nobody else has black and gold and bill right. you are aware of the uh prestigious of this radio station that is such a word you realize this is the oldest radio station in america yes yeah hmm. And I was listening back then on November 2nd, 1920. I just looked good for my age. Bill, what were you doing when this man accosted you in the oh. parking lot? Well, we, we were on our way home from vacation. Oh, we went I'm with, so sorry. Uh, my wife's family to see Owl City in New Jersey and had beautiful weather. See, wow. he was stuck in New Jersey like I was. I right, see. That's what Orton had said. Yes, <laughs> New Jersey takes a toll on you. That's until I got to the end of the Pennsylvania Turnpike. I went from Harrisburg to Pittsburgh, okay, yeah. on the Pennsylvania Turnpike. You know what the toll was? Oh. It was over 21 stinking dollars. But, wow. but Come but, on. But look at our Come roads. On. Aren't they no. somewhat no mediocre? Better, no, yes. <laughs> New, <laughs> New Jersey's got the fourth worst roads in the country and the most money spent on it. Bill, thanks Bill, for calling. thank you for your call. Thanks for, thanks for calling, Katie K. Have a good night now. <laughs> All right. Enjoy Bye-bye. the rest of your vacation. That's funny. Oh, my gosh. We got Helen in Forest Hill, uh, Forest Hills uh, here. Uh, how are you, Helen? Welcome to KDKA. You know, when television first came out, I guess that was the late 40s or the mm-hmm. early 50s. Yeah. 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 Somebody, you know, more than one person said, oh, that'll yeah. never go over. Because nobody is going to sit in front of a box all day and watch it. <laughs> You're right. You're right. I well, remember that. Helen, did I pay you to call in? <laughs> uh, no. Okay, so make sure that I didn't give you my card at the service plaza as well. You weren't hanging out at a rest uh, stop or anything like listen, that. Listen, <laughs> Helen, Helen, oh, stop it, Stoney. You know, you know, Helen, I got, I got to tell you, though, that uh, they said the same thing about uh, – a station in New York called WINS. It was a top 40 wins, station, 10-10 yeah. wins, and it was uh, it played the hits. 
Uh, and all of a sudden, on the day after Easter Sunday in 1965, they went 24 hours news, and they're still doing it. And, of course, the greatest story ever was uh, the person that called in after they changed format and requested a song, and the guy said, we'll get it on right after the news. <laughs> and that guy is still, waiting, still, waiting, still right? waiting for his song. But the, people said, who's going to listen, just like you said, Helen, who's going to listen to the news all day long. Well, you don't. You listen. Their, their very slogan is, you give us 22 minutes, we'll give you the world. Right, right. And, and, and then you, they'll repeat it for the next group of people that are tuning in and out. But it, the all-news format is all very, very successful. And yep. that station, oddly enough, is owned by CBS. Helen, thank you for your call. Enjoy the radio tonight, okay. all right? All right. Thanks, dear. There's Helen. Uh, and, yeah, you know, that's the thing about radio. And I was thinking about earlier uh, when you were talking about uh, radio disc jockeys and, and talent and, and some of these guys, you know, in, in the old in the old days, and the I old, have to say, in the old days, the old days, you know, you went to, as a kid. We were teenagers. Yeah. You, you you got in bed with your transistor radio and those I did those crazy disc jockeys, and they were all you know wild and crazy. But we loved those guys, and though. They talked to us. I mean, mm -hmm. if you had a bad day at school or something like that, they were Lee Allen on the horn yeah, or, or, or mm -hmm. any of these Cousin guys. Brucey Cousin Brucey. Cousin Brucey and yeah. John Cigna. And yeah. they were telling That's you right. stories, and you listened to these guys. And they were your friend. They were the social media of the day. And I don't see anything wrong with that. Who in Pittsburgh doesn't still remember John Cigna's spaghetti dinner? Oh, right? my gosh. I mean, we come still on. do it. Yeah. Legendary. You yeah. know? So, but but the, the problem, the big, the big thing that kind of ticks me off is we are losing so many of these people. I have been videotaping radio personalities now since 1979. That's yeah. going on 35 years. Yeah, that's and a lot of tape. That's a lot of tape. And and so now what I'm doing... It's a lot of I, editing I don't, is what it I, is. Yeah, and I don't, <laughs> I don't mean to be morbid, but of late I've been doing memorial videos yeah, yeah. because we're losing so many of and them. And there's no new guys there, coming th out. Thank you, thank you. That's exactly where I was going with this. The, it's bad enough we're losing them. Yeah. But, but people are saying, where's the farm? Like in baseball, they have like the farm teams, you know, bringing in the new guys from the minor leagues. We don't have a minor league. Used to be, remember remember which shift it was on radio where we used to break people in? When was Nights. it? Nights. Nights. Yeah. And overnights. Nights and overnights. That's and where Because I you couldn't do too much damage at 3 o'clock in the morning. And that's where you honed your craft. Now, find me a radio station where somebody is live between midnight and 6 a.m., you just find me even one that's live seven to midnight anymore. And you know, and that was the charm. And and, and and Art and I don't live in the past, but we remember it because it was so cool. I it mean, you drive through towns and you would hear the new DJ, mm -hmm. and he he was terrible. Mm -hmm. and you, you know, and you'd go, "Oh my God, this guy's horrible." And you came, you drove through yeah. there a few years later, and, and he, he was, was good. really good. <laughs> I know. And 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 so you don't have these guys coming up and 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 getting that chance to develop. Or they move around a lot. I mean, yeah. I mean when you were just saying. You gotta regatta. I hadn't heard that phrase oh in God. years. And I said, that flashed me back to Jimmy and Steve sure. on DVE. And sure. I said, and then I go, where are they now? And then Jimmy, Jimmy's well, Jimmy's working for you. Well, Jimmy's Live 108. Yeah. He's working he, with you guys. God bless him. He's yeah. the nicest man in broadcasting. Uh, yeah. And, you know, we were talking about uh, um, earlier off the air, uh, John, uh, John Gary, uh, you know, yeah. th those guys on TAE years ago in the cone of silence. I mean, it was funny. How good are you? What funny stuff. What did TAE stand for? I. Now the, now, the joke was when the late uh, I should, Ted See, Ted I Atkins, should know this stuff, well, but Ted you At know this stuff. Well, Ted Atkins was the program director for yes, many years. God Wonderful bless him. guy. He just Loved passed him. away not too long yes. ago. And, and Ted, so the joke was that TAE stood for Ted Atkins Enterprises. Right. That is not what it stood no, for. No. But would it actually, unless somebody calls in and takes me to task on it, I've been told by very good source that it actually stands for, and you'll be able to finish it, Thomas... A Alvin, Alva, Edison, Edison. Alva Edison. Yeah. Huh, wow. Not Alvin, but Alva. Uh, Alva, yeah. yeah Thomas yeah. Alva Edison. That's what it's, it's his initials. Wow. So there. Well. <laughs> but it only exists now on TV. And you know what's funny is so many great call letters of radio stations. They all stood for something. Yeah, but they, but the law, you know where they all are? They're on TV stations. Oh, yeah. In our and, town of Detroit, WXYZ. Great letters. Great call letters. Only on Channel 7, yeah. no more on radio. Yeah. WKBW -W -W Buffalo. Yeah, right? it's T. Uh, KOB in Albuquerque, uh, uh, WMAQ Chicago. All these great call letters are on TV stations. Who cares? Yeah. And the radio stations have lost them. And KDKA, which always stood for Can't Dance, Can't Act. <laughs> I, I never I didn't heard know. that. Yeah, it's that's true. Great. Alice is in Forest Hills. <laughs> that's great. Art Volo is with us on KDKA. Yeah, How are you, Alice? That's great. If I were any better, I couldn't stand it. <laughs> well, <laughs> we're having fun, Alice. What's up? 
<laughs> I know. Hey, you know, my father-in-law, Sebastian Sapienza, was the first man to play a clarinet solo on radio. Wow. The song he played was Annie Laurie because it had a three octave range. Was it was it this so radio station? Sapienza. Was it this radio station he was on? Had to be. Was it on yes, KDKA? It yes. On, yes. KDKA. Yeah. Can't well, dance, you know, can't act. I never, <laughs> I never heard that. That's great. Well, that's anyway, fabulous, Alice. Thank Alice, you. thank you very much. You. It's, it's a wonderful show. Thank I'm you. going to hang up now. Uh, thank right. you very much. Bye-bye. So, uh, so are we. No. Yeah, we're, <laughs> we're leaving. <laughs> we're gone. I think the uh, pizza's ready, right? Okay. Well, you know, and that was, and that was also the cool thing. The radio stations, you know, and I, I think we still do this. And you talked about this company very flatteringly. You know, we still do bring people in and talk mm-hmm. to artists and, and do that. That's what's cool. Well, you know, you know what's really cool about your show, Stoney? Oh, well, uh, me. Well, first of all, you squeeze. Yeah, you, of course. Yeah. Uh, we, can't we, dance, we, uh, can't yeah, act. I, that's fabulous. Thank I you. never heard I can't believe mm-hmm. I never heard that. Uh, but uh, you've squeezed me in here between, you know, a musical guest in your first hour. Yeah. Uh, you have another musical guest, don't you, coming yes, on? Yes, Mickey last Raphael, time. yeah. So, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm the kind of conversation between the music here. But it's between the music, uh, and I don't mean to be punny about this, Sorry. that makes radio, gives it its personality. Yeah. I mean, here we are, we're doing three, you're doing, well, not me, but you're doing a three-hour talk show, oh. and, and, you're, and you're not mentioning Obamacare, you're not mentioning Democrats and Republicans, you. yeah. you're not mentioning any of this kind of stuff. And I mean, you know, it's just, I mean, I, I remember, you know, this town, do you remember that Jeff Christie worked, and he's no relation to Chris, Okay. that Jeff Christie worked here. You don't remember him, I, I didn't. No, I didn't know him. That was, I, I've that been was, like that was Rush ago. Limbaugh working under oh! the name of Jeff Christie. At, that, was at, that 10, 13 at, Q? Was no, it at, no, at KQV. KQV. Back in the day, oh and uh, way before, uh, most of the great talk show hosts today started out as DJ. Oh, sure. And I think a lot of them got frustrated, and you may be in this category, that you felt, although you have a personality afternoon drive show right but so many djs today feel restricted by program directors to say now shut up and play the music don't you know don't talk too much well you you, you got things to say well <laughs> and, you, and and the cool thing about this building is that i don't feel those restrictions over why i want to wait good it, it, it's fun yeah. but they're like we, they're trying to expand the talent because we mm-hmm. have a lot of talent in this building yeah so they're kind of going you guys want to do sports you want to do the talk and it's like are you kidding? People don't ask you that stuff Because they're not giving radio. you any more money, I know, to do this oh, show. Oh, they I mean. have paid for my entire <laughs> education, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going back to school. Art Volo is with us here in the studio. <laughs> it's scary, isn't it, it folks? It is frightening. We, and we're going to talk about radio uh, with you. Our number is 866-391-1020. The Dollar Bank Instant Access um, is always open to you. Todd... Oh, you'll like this, Art, says, oh, uh-oh. here in Connecticut, WTIC, uh-oh. listening on radio.com, uh, WTIC 1080 is a legendary station, also CBS owns. Yes. Its call letters actually stand, stand for, for the Travelers Insurance Insur- Company. You got it. Yeah, and there no, was and still is today get me on that? Come a TV on. station in Hartford by the same call letters, uh-huh. Todd Jeleno. Yeah. Very nice, Todd. Uh-huh. We'll be back with Art Bolo and your comments as well. It's Stoney Richards. We're live from the center. It's News Radio 1020, Thank KDKA. You. All righty. Got a problem? Know where to turn? Listen up. When there's something wrong in your neighborhood, what you gotta do? Get Marty! Stoney Richards on KDKA. Yes, glad to have you all along uh, for the show today. We're all over the place. We had some live music. We've got more uh, from Mickey Raphael, the harmonica player for Willie Nelson, up in the 7 o'clock hour. But with us now is radio's best friend, and you are, Art Bolo, is with us here in the studio at KDKA. Our number is 866-391-1020. You've been doing this for years and, and, and chronicling this I, I I should people can get your videos of of DJs and and yeah, radio from my stations. Website. By the way, KD this can make all the trades. KDKA changes format to AOR, which used to stand for album oriented rock, but today it's all over the road. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, now I have a website, and you got to take this down. So grab a pen. We'll wait. Okay, we're waiting we'll long wait. enough. Right. All right. <laughs> it, after the the letter that nobody can pronounce correctly. W, 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 I can do it really well. I, I work uh, for yeah. WWW that, that's WW right. in Detroit. You, you yes. work for a station at all yes. four W's. God. Anyway. Anyway, it's www.com. 
Volo Video. V U O L O. Yeah, my name is spelled with a U after the V, kind of like one of those little V U meters, which stands for volume unit. Shut Volo. up. Anyway, V U O L O. V U O L O Video, V I D E O dot com. Got it. And you can see a picture of me right there hovering over the Hollywood star on Hollywood Boulevard that a friend of mine got. The cool who thing, works for this company. The cool thing about what you do is that if you grew up with a radio station, be it KDKA or whatever station you used to listen to, chances are there's video of not only some of those DJs but those studios yes. as well that we never in all, in our day so people you can didn't see, see. And you what went, goes oh my on. Gosh. Right. People yeah. like to see what's behind the curtain all the way back to the Wizard of Oz. Remember, pay no attention to that yes. man behind the curtain. And the Wizard of Oz was actually originally on KDKA. I don't know. He had a great morning. Well, show. you know, you know, you were saying about New York, for example, and and uh, you, we all know the play Jersey Boys, and and the, the movie has just come yes. out. Just yes. came out last week. Yes. Yeah. You're gonna go see it? Yes. Well, you're gonna find this interesting. Saw the play. Okay. So. Well, the man who made the Four Seasons. Okay. okay. Yeah. A, a, a popular the, the group. group. Yeah. yeah. Not was the hotel. A, a DJ whose name you know, Joey Reynolds. Yeah, yeah. Joey Reynolds Detroit. locked Buffalo. himself. Yeah, he worked in Detroit and Buffalo and all these cities. He had like 38 jobs. Yeah. And very stable guy. <laughs> anyway, so he, he locked himself in the studio, and you'll see this in the movie. He locked himself in the studio of WPOP in Hartford, Connecticut, and played Sherry in September of 1962 yeah. until it became a hit. Now, of course, they fired him. They had to get the police and all this stuff. But nowhere in the movie are you going to hear his name mentioned. I was just going to say that they no. say, no, it's just no. a DJ. It was somebody portraying him, and which was uh, what you had to do because he's a lot older now, yeah. obviously. Yeah. So they had to have somebody portraying him, but they didn't use his name. So nobody is going to know. And when they left him out of the musical in New York... One critic was known to say in one of the papers that leaving Joey Reynolds out of the Jersey Boys was like leaving Jesus out of the Bible. And I thought that was fabulous. <laughs> well, but it's just this is the kind of stuff that goes on. And People that, don't get credit. Well, and you know, and, and the amazing thing about that is you can't do that in radio anymore. I know, you know? Because, because everything the lawyers is so, would be I on know. The door. But in those days, yes. people did do that. You I remember when Robert W. Things. Morgan did that with in Los Angeles at KHJ with Michael Jackson. Yes. He just kept playing, you know, lock yourself in the studio, I'm gonna play it until comes a hit. Yeah. And yeah. Son of a gun they did. And in fact, Joey and Cousin Brucey are the only two DJs in the whole country that have theme songs for their shows oh. sung by the Four Seasons. Oh my gosh. Yeah. He, they did a they did a custom theme song for both those guys for all that they did for the Four Seasons career. Yeah. yeah. So you you do nice things for people. It comes back to you. Well, and you talk about New York. I know we have a lot of people that listen from New York on radio.com mm-hmm. and of course Pittsburgh we talked about, sure. you know, all the people that have been here. But in New York there there are these legendary guys that you and I used to listen to oh, even sure. in Detroit. We oh, go yeah. to, you know, 8 Mile and Woodward, mm. <laughs> you could pick a, you could pick up WABC. Yeah, I know. It was amazing uh, the signals and and in fact uh, I heard uh, somebody uh, heard a, a tape I had of Cousin Brucey going, hi, to South Carolina and Florida and all my f- 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 Floridians. And they said, was he syndicated? No. 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 Well, he, how could he, they he, hear them there? Well, it was called the ionosphere. Yeah. The signal bounces off the ionosphere, and you can hear these AM stations all over the country. KDKA, back in the, uh, when I used to fall asleep every night to Ed and Wendy King on Party Line on yeah. this very radio yeah. station. And, and Wendy's, Feel better, Wendy. Yeah, Wendy sends her love. She wasn't feeling too good today. By the way, but but she, she they that on that station they were they reached I think the east was no the west coast of Africa. Yeah. Well, and, you know, and that's the cool thing. And I got to tell you a quick story. Yeah. Our chief engineer, Chris Hudak, here, because people Hudak. here, Katie, Hudak, 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 <laughs> Hudak. Yeah, Hudak. Um, people hear this station all over the country yeah. because fifty thousand watts, a clear, uh, a clear channel radio station from yeah. CBS. Um, and we he made up because if you, people send us cards and say hey I oh, picked your like station up in Spain I picked your station up in you know New Mexico mm-hmm. he's now made this huge plaque it's an eight by ten uh-huh. so if you hear this station in, in Norway yeah you you send something to, and right. he will send you this and it's really really cool it's very cool you know it's yeah. an historical piece it is and but now with the internet everybody can listen I've got yeah. KDKA in my in my smartphone right and i can listen to you guys i wanted to know if i was going to have storms to deal with when i came here and i heard your forecast clear as a bell on my iphone well and i know you're driving to cleveland but isn't it still so much fun though to kind of tune that radio there and is, there, pull yeah. something in but you want to know something the clarity of getting the stuff oh i mean it, 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 it spoils us yeah and to the point where the slightest bit of static yeah. i mean really goes like you know we don't want to listen to that yeah 
Art, we are in our last minute here. Right. Again, I knew this How was going to go. I... I know. This was, we haven't meandered Book enough. Me for two hours. Come no, on. No, no. I, I have an audience that I truly enjoy. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh. Hey, boom. You think I'm chasing listeners away? No. I, 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 I built up an audience. In fact, I had a thing. I wanted you to read it from one of the trades. Oh. Uh, oh was it about it. me? No, it was no. about you. Oh, yes. Oh, well, excellent. And, and it was about how oh, yeah, I'm going to be on this, on this show. Oh. Uh, and he said uh, that it's going to be on one of these old fashioned devices called an AM radio. Oh, we'll find him. Yes. We and know where he lives. And, and if you have wealthy friends that have a thing called a computer, you can hear it online at kdkaradio.com. You know, these youngsters and their tongue-in-cheek <laughs> attitude is well, going it's to a, stop. Well, that is tongue-in-cheek, obviously. But, but really, I mean, I have people all over the country that are listening. I think my sister's listening 100 miles north of Seattle, my brother, Hello. my relatives in Jersey. You know, you got to pay a toll to get in. You got to pay a toll to get out. Hey, Jersey it, takes a toll. It's a little toll. higher to get out of Jersey than it is to get in. Yeah, but didn't you tell me they want another five bucks from me when I leave Pennsylvania? They, they do. Oh, they will. come on. Art, <laughs> pleasure to have you here. Art Volo, it's volovideo.com. Video. Check the guy out. Buy something. I need gas for oh, my for car. Oh, for the love of God. <laughs> Don't hang around at a, at a road stop. I love you. I love you, too. Art Volo on News Radio 1020 KDKA.